explain why this soldier this soldier by birth is a hindu but this person has got christ flowing all over her can i call do you want to hear one more testimony you know um, she was in a situation where the people in authority said why have you sent this person send her back home and using the word of god those very people gave her an award award do, do you want to hear the testimony so please welcome shalini you are from which place shalini ranchi so shalini from ranchi okay when i said when i said shalini is a small baby a uh, worldly age she is a youth but looking at the age with jesus uh, how how many months that you know jesus now seven months only and in seven months she has been able to achieve so many things in her life when i asked her shalini are you ready to share your testimony she said any time brother i've got so much to tell uh, these people what the lord has done continues to do and how much of opposition how much of persecution how much of things are coming from the family on the opposite side but i am still running the race strong because jesus is my partner along with me so tell us shalini how did you meet the lord actually i started coming to uh, brother johnson's retreat i Uh, uh one of my friends told me about church uh, in bangalore so i just started visiting there i met uh, lucy auntie she is like one of the prayer group members then i she took me to brother johnson's retreat in bangalore so i was more inspired by the christian life not with uh, christ or going to the church what brother taught about christian life i was very touched i oh no 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 you were touched by what was thought of a christian life or you were touched by we christians no no you make it clear because were you not so you know she said i was touched by christian life and we the christians are so good <laughs> and she was touched with christian life so make it clear yes brother i was uh christian living which uh, these days there is so much uh, depression people are falling into um, drugs and suicidal tendencies so so it was the teaching that touched exactly you. Okay, okay okay and especially the scriptures which uh, brother used to uh, teach so all those things really touched me i was really amazed and i was thinking what i was doing for so many years when things are so simple So I started listening to Brother Johnson's CD and reading that white one one minute. How how many times do you listen to the CD? Uh, Brother, at that time I was not listening very often. But um, in my in my office when I used to work, uh, so I used to put the headphone and keep listening it. So earlier I used very casually, but gradually it the words was so powerful. that i used to leave my work take a notebook and start writing it down also what what would you write the teachings which were there uh, you are a hindu right yeah. uh, we christians write every time we christians whenever we have a sermon when the priest is giving the sermon we go to church with a notebook and we start writing quickly uh, you, hindus also do that huh? i did not know that okay then what happened uh then um, after a few months i from my company they asked me that uh, there's a project from germany and you need to travel there so initially i was not very keen and confused what it is whether i should go or not then uh, i prayed and uh, i just felt that okay fine this is the uh, something from god so i should accept it and i decided to go 
before going, I met Brother Johnson also. We prayed and uh, I left. When I reached there, um, when I reached there, um, I thought that it will be a very easy going thing or uh, maybe we'll, I'll just work the way I work in Bangalore and I'll come back. But actually it was a transition project from Germany to India because they were doing cost cutting in Germany. So they wanted to cut down the resources there and transition that work to India. So what they were expecting was like, they were people with 10, 15, 20 years of experience. So they were going to transition that work to us. 15 and or 20 years of right. experience. You must be also having 20 years of experience. Because you look like 45, 50. Brother, when I went, I had 3.5 years of experience. I don't know why the Indian management chose me and what they saw in my CV and they sent me. I went there and the first day we entered, when they saw us, they looked at me like, No, it's again going off. When when good things are happening, <laughs> praise God, doesn't matter. So um, they looked at me with a very uh, gave me a very inferior look. So I was fine that time, and then they uh, straightforward they said, "You please uh, move. You are done for the day. Please leave." They called the management, and they said, "We are not going ahead with this. We are going to end this contract with Ericsson India." Then uh, I was like, we were worried and because recession time is going on, so even if I travel back to India, I had that fear that again they might ask me to quit the company because projects are not there. So I was little worried what to do and every day we used to go to the office, just used to sit, listen, things like this. They used to look down on us. They used to give that inferior feeling as if what wrong I have done or I don't know something. So they were actually looking down on us. That was the worst part. So this kept on happening for weeks. And I was a little worried about it also. So uh, that time I was uh, in touch with uh, Lucy Auntie. I used to talk to her on the phone and all. So she told me, you don't worry. You just pray. I have given you the white book. You read that. White book, I was not getting so much time because all the time I was either cooking in the evening or in the office. So what I used to do is, the CD, I used to put that CD even in the evening when I used to come back. I used to put that CD and um, while going also I used to put uh, in, my, in my phone and I used to hear it. So um, after two or three weeks uh, what happened, like um, I was thinking that okay fine we have to leave now. So I went and told my manager okay tell me the return dates tickets and everything so I informed my parents my parents also told me in such a situation what can you do you come back so but I was listening to the CD and especially uh, brother I can remember there is one teaching where it says uh, uh, Jairus was crying on this side of the river and uh, uh, Jesus could listen to his cry on the other side and your decision can change Jesus destination and uh, Jesus will not uh, see whether you are a Hindu, you are a Muslim, you are a Protestant, you are a Catholic, but he will see your faith. If you, your faith is strong, your decision is going to change Jesus' destination. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> I, will, I will explain to you what it is. Jesus came out of the ship after casting out demons from that man and was preaching the word of God. Jairus walked in, bent down, touched Jesus' feet and began to cry out and say, My daughter is about to die. Please come home and lay your hands on my daughter. The Bible says Jesus turned and began to walk with Jairus. Jairus' decision changed Jesus' destination. You and I with our decision of faith can change even Jesus' direction and get him walk with us. Hallelujah. Then tell me what happened. And then, uh, brother, after three weeks passed by, we were th I was expecting... So, so three weeks you were listening to the CD. Right. Okay, another question. Another question. Were there other people who traveled with you to Germany? Yes. How many? Group of 20 or 20. Okay, 20, 20. They were not in the word of God. Okay. Normally, if 
these people have gone to Germany and there is no work what do you think they will be doing I want to ask you 20 people went one person is sitting at home and listening to the CD 19 people who have got nothing to do with Jesus and full day free time what do you think they will be doing in Germany like anything like this was happening I'm asking yes. you tell us brother actually uh, the place where I, the hotel where I was staying it was not like a very big or lavish hotel so they said you'll have to share your rooms but uh, the, all the people who were, went with me, they were like, uh, th no one believed in God, nothing. So I was more bothered that if, if I am staying alone, in Bangalore also I am staying alone, so I play my CD and do my work. So I was more bothered if a person stays, I don't have any botheration with that person. But what if, if that person will crib that, why are you playing CD at 12 o'clock in the night? Why are you uh, doing all this? As in, I'm, if I am putting on the TV, why do you have a problem? So I straightforward told my manager, I have my personal constraints, I can't entertain anyone else in my room. I want a single seater. That time I felt a little bad if, uh, I don't know what my manager would have felt straight away, I said like that. But she gave me a single room. I was the only girl who was staying in a single room. All the other girls were staying in double Praise room. Praise God. Okay. Now please give us, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Please give us an idea what were the others doing when you were studying the word of God. So, brother, the, those girls are not bad. They are my friends. No, no, no. I'm not saying bad. I'm not saying bad. But when you go, there is another something called as silver coins. Silver coins? In Germany, not there? Come. 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 Boys were also, Boys were also there. Girls were. But, but she has got girls as friends. Don't worry. You, why are you asking all those personal things? You don't... Don't answer his question. Yes. So, brother, uh, one day they asked me that, uh, come to our room. So, uh, I was like a uh, little worried also and I was listening to the CD also. I said, no. One more day they asked that, uh, hey, we have got some special wine from the from Coughlin. It's really cheap also. You will not have to pay much. Why don't you come and try? We are also trying for the first time. It's good to try new things, no? Uh, for the first time. For the first time. That I told you, no, yesterday one boy, he yeah. tried with a prostitute. First time, first time, he ended up with HIV. First time. Yeah. <laughs> then I said, uh, okay, I'll see if I get time, I'll come. I said like that and I decided I don't have to go. Then gradually, if I had to go shopping for vegetables or something, they used to accompany me. They stopped coming with me. They stopped talking to me gradually. And uh, I felt that they were not treating me well also. I was like, okay, forget it. You, you got a company in your room, no? Yeah. They that don't know so that there is a boyfriend in your room. <laughs> His name is Jesus. Nobody clapped hands. Don't clap, don't clap. No, 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 I can understand. No, no. I, I, I can understand, brother. 12 o'clock when others are sleeping, she has got a boyfriend with whom she's talking at 12 o'clock. How? Through the CD. Not my voice. The word of God. Okay, then what happened? So, uh, I just told them, no, they, at times they got beer bottles. They said, today we'll try beer, come with some fruit beer, really nice, made in Germany. I said, again they called me, I said, uh, again I didn't say no, I said, okay, if I get time, I'll come. Brother, this happens, <laughs> this happens only in Bangalore, brother. And this Bangalore, Bangalore people, when we go abroad, all these things happen. Does it happen in Goa? I have kept my mic off. <laughs> if I talk, she will not be able to continue. No, no, I'm asking, it, does this happen in Goa that we, the friends invite, I brought Germany, wine. Uh, we are waiting for invitations in Goa. Without even, without even inviting, we are checking whether is there any chance, is there any wine, is there any new stock. Even college going children? College going children, adults, everybody. No, no. Only in Bangalore, no? Only in Bangalore, okay. Anyway, you are from Ranchi, it doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, then after three weeks, uh, I, when 
uh, one day my manager called me and he said, uh, uh, I thought he'll be telling me, okay, you have to fly tomorrow, day after or something. He called me and he told me, I said, okay, so tell me, what's my returning date and all. He said, uh, you know, what has Carly said, Carly was my senior manager who used to come for the sessions and all. He said that earlier he said, complete no, we just can't go ahead with this. And he said, uh, uh, we are really surprised to see Shalini's brilliance. We can uh, absolutely go ahead with this team which you have sent from Bangalore and we are more than confident that she will be able to take it. Out of 20 people, experienced of 15 years and 20 years, you, the youngest among all, three and a half years experience, and they are saying we can give you this project because Shalini is the best, brilliant, and we can trust her to give the project. Yes. And, and you knew that job perfectly well. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't know anything. Rather. Then how come they got so much of confidence in you? By maybe word of God, I used to confess and I had that faith and by listening, hearing and hearing the word of God, I built that faith. So even in my mind, brother, as you say, you should pray with an image. So I used, whenever I used to close my eyes, I used to pray with that image that I am successful. I am being uh, honored for my work and uh, I have not let down even my parents, my uh, people who have sent me here and they are all proud of me. So I used to pray. Even now when I pray in Bangalore, I pray with that image that I am very successful. Then tell us, so your company got the project because of you? Yes, brother. So uh, what post did they give you then? So uh, brother, there were other people also from Bangalore and uh, some few of them from Calcutta. So they wanted a team lead for the project. And generally in our company, a team lead should be some 10, years experience not less than that and even if less experience then at least he should be from that domain that domain was completely new to me but uh, um, my manager came and told me one day he gave me a call and he said come to my room I went he said I'm making you the lead from Bangalore I hope you don't mind I thought uh, am I hearing it wrong or why is he telling me that I took two minutes to digest okay I didn't react in front of him I said yeah yeah fine then I came back. So, so you being nobody in the team, God lifted you up and made you the team leader. And because of you, the company got the project. It is just like Joseph. The Bible says, God was with Joseph and God made the house of Egyptian prosper because of Joseph. Then what happened when you came back to Bangalore? Brother, when I came back to Bangalore, actually this entire process which I told you, it was only for three months. But uh, your any formal designation change or your promotion to take place, you have to be a consistent performer throughout the year. On top of it, you should have a decent rating in the previous year's rating, should be decent enough. Only then they will give you a formal on, your, on the letter, a formal uh, promotion, promotion as well as a pay hike. Whereas, uh, some last to last week, I was previously in a different project in which I was on bench. There was no work, no projects. So, because of that, I was sitting idle. And uh, so, uh, that manager was my previous manager and he took care of my this year's promotion cycle and everything. So, that manager had organized a team uh, get together or something. So, someone from that team told me that your this manager, Germany manager had written a letter to your previous manager about your appreciation and because of that letter you have been promoted and you are the only person who has been promoted with this criteria with only your three months of work you have been given the promotion. Hmm. Only listening to the word of God, confessing the word of God, creating the image on the word of God. That's what, that's what we were learning yesterday. Hope is the mold. Faith is the substance that gets filled in the mold. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I'll tell you brother, honestly speaking, when a person has gone to Germany, 
there are so many friends who will be saying there is no work come let's yes. go and see visitation let's go and see how beautiful it is and they must be going there when they are going there this girl is saying I would rather spend my time with Jesus it looks so foolish but praise God when the harvest comes everybody is standing and saying this is the youngest one having no experience how can she go to that level my friend it is God who makes you great but the God who wants to make you great he wants your faith and the substance called faith will come by hearing and hearing by the word of God hallelujah hallelujah you you must grow faith just like a farmer who grows cotton or grows a crop Christians have to grow faith now she gave us a beautiful classic uh, understanding of how to grow faith she said three months I spent time hearing the word of God whether it's 12 o'clock whether it's one o'clock on the mobile in the job everywhere the word of God the word of God the word of God the word of God remember the word of God is the seed your future your future is in that seed and when you plant it in your heart this seed has got so much of power it will bring your future beyond your Imagine. imagination what your eyes have not seen what your eyes have not seen what your ears have not heard uh, what has yeah. not even entered your heart God has prepared for those who love him and he has revealed it to us through the Holy Spirit God has prepared and the preparation that he has made he has stored it in the word of God and when you take that word and you start laboring to feed that word in your heart on a daily basis praise God the day comes when the harvest shows up now it was not only that she confessed the word it is not only that she wrote the word she acted on the word when they called her for alcohol when they called her for the other things she said no I would rather spend time with my Jesus my friend when you spend time all by yourself with Jesus that quality time will open the quality life for your future <laughs> hallelujah if you are spending your time with the things of the world my friend you have already created your future of destruction The choice is yours. You are only seven months old in the Lord. And so much of success and so many beautiful things. And you not being a Christian, there might be so much of opposition from your family. Every day. Every day. But have you been fighting back or have you been just holding your peace and loving your parents? Brother, in the white book on the first page it is written, I am the body of Christ. Satan has no power over me. The one which is in me is much, much more powerful than the one in the world. Anything happens, though it disturbs me, but I keep confessing, confessing, confessing. And it's fine. So now your life with Jesus is awesome. Beautiful. And, and have you seen some healings taking place through your hands? Today only I saw it. Today first only. Time. Today was the first time. What did you feel? Brother, when I was praying, I could feel that trembling in his hand. And his hand was being where he was trembling a lot, so I could feel that presence of the Holy Spirit. I, I don't think so. You will ever forget that, brother, <laughs> because that was your first client, yes. and this is just the beginning, baby. There is so much more of glory to be shown, and your life is a life of glory. God bless you.